Recently, David Sinclair was interviewed by Sam Bakhtiar. Sam is a doctor, an author and a world-class bodybuilder. In this clip, David Sinclair explains that resveratrol must be mixed into a fatty food and the early studies were flawed because of the incorrect ingestion protocol. There is a link in the description below to the full interview. There are certain protectors in our body called sirtuins, which we've worked on for now 25 years. And these sirtuins, you can activate them um, in the same way that exercise and being hungry will turn them on. And we can talk about how, how to do that optimally. But you can also take, as, you, as you're doing, the, the supplements. So we've shown in mice and others have shown in humans that uh, resveratrol, the, the second one you showed, we discovered that in 2003, that it activates one of the sirtuins and we've given it to mice and they've been much healthier on a, on a high fat diet. We see that they're protected against a whole range of different diseases, including cancer, by the way. And there's been probably 20 clinical studies not all of them have shown benefits. The early studies actually were flawed because they were giving resveratrol without mixing it in any food. And resveratrol is about as soluble as a crushed up brick. Um, and so I, this morning I had my resveratrol uh, in, a, in a bowl of yogurt. I point that down. So um, I mix it with a little bit of yogurt, not much because I don't like to eat breakfast to any extent. Uh, and then, so what we've shown is that those sirtuins, uh, they protect the body, they repair DNA, they fight free radicals, they help with the ends of chromosomes, the telomeres, all of these known, what we call hallmarks of aging. There are about eight of them. I've mentioned just a few. These sirtuins protect against the, those changes as well as the clock advancing. Um, so I, I don't know for sure if I'm gonna live longer because of what I do, uh, but I do know, first of all, that if I don't do anything, uh, it's gonna be brutal. Um, men in my family die usually in their 70s from heart disease or diabetes. Uh, second of all, what I'm doing is incredibly safe. There's been no report in millions of people that there's been a, any downside. So the worst I can I can do is lose some money. Uh, and then the, the third is that the upside is huge, that I could be much healthier into my 80s and 90s and maybe beyond that. We'll see. And my father is doing the same as me. And I was say that. Your, your dad is amazing. So he's a guinea pig uh, by voluntary, right? He's a scientist. So he, he makes his own decisions. I'm not forcing him to do anything. But he, uh, he's a wonderful uh, example of someone who took life by the horns and uh, went through his 70s. Now he's in his 80s. And just as healthy as I am, actually, he's stronger than I am. And I'm just turned 50.